Well, right now, Congresswoman Kathy McMorris Rogers is saying the reason many people in rural parts of the state of Washington don't have access to the internet is because of this map right here. The map itself is using outdated census data, and if you update it, the Congresswoman says, well, you'll be able to get service. <laughs> If you go down to Rockford, Fairfield, just south of Spokane, you do not you do not have a signal. Right now, a top priority in the Biden-Harris administration is to expand broadband or wireless broadband via 5G to every American. And Eastern Washington Congresswoman Kathy McMorris Rogers has had a seat at the table, going so far as to sit down with the Vice President of the United States. It was a very positive meeting, and I was encouraged that the Vice President wanted to hear both from Republicans and Democrats. And so I was able to speak directly to regions in my district that have no coverage or very limited coverage. The Congresswoman points to the reason many people in eastern Washington and rural Idaho don't have access to internet is because of outdated numbers on FCC maps. The current approach basically is based upon the census track. And if one person in that census track could have coverage, then they consider the entire census tract to be covered. The congresswoman says it's simple to close the digital divide, update the maps, and then use federal dollars to build more infrastructures so you at home can have access to the internet. And we need the FCC to update those maps. The maps are completely inaccurate. It shows areas like, well, Spokane County being 100% covered. The Congresswoman is saying right now, due to the pandemic, weaknesses were exposed when it comes to broadband in rural communities. She's currently sponsoring multiple pieces of legislation to bridge the digital divide. I posted details about that and the American Broadband Action Act on our website. But for now, reporting in the newsroom, I'm Bradley Warren. Back to you.